Hey everyone, and welcome to our Clips and Highlights channel. If you want to keep up with everything Kyle and I have going on, make sure you subscribe to the main Grinding Gear YouTube channel, which is where we actually do these streams. That's right, we stream right here on YouTube. Oh, and uh, sub to the Grinding Gear podcast. Apple, Google, Spotify, really any podcast platform. We're probably there. Thanks. Do, do we want, do, can we break for Dexter story time? <laughs> have I told you what Dexter's been doing lately? What's he been doing? So we have an old dog. So we have a pair of stairs next to the bed. So Bailey can get up and down himself. Sure. Dexter has taken to sleeping on the stairs, but he doesn't go over on the side of the bed with the stairs. He jumps up on my side of the bed, which is the far side from the stairs and then walks across our heads, across our pillows, well, yeah. and then circles on the stairs and lays down and goes to sleep. Absolutely. If you don't let your presence be known, you're not a cat. And and Just now we we've, we've dubbed it uh, Dexter making his rounds. Like he has to say good night to everybody before he can go to sleep. I believe the exact words are everybody wants to be a cat because the cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. Mm. Wonderful news, Tuna and Val. Tataru contacted uh, contacted contacted Sid on our behalf. How do I talk? And he is on his way here even as we speak. While we wait, I should very much like to hear what transpired at the Alliance Council. Would you be so kind, Kyle? As you know, the meeting was uh, convened to discuss how best to respond to the recent events in Garlemald. According to the intelligence from our Doman allies, the War of Secession rages on and the Empire remains without a leader. Amidst the chaos, the Imperial Legions in the provinces have begun to move independently of their motherland. Of greatest concern to us is the... Third? The oh. third? <laughs> is there, is there is an that, eye there? Is, is that there really? What's, what I guess that's how you would... That's how the you would... The kerning is off, which makes me think one of those characters is different. I was going to go with Illard, but yeah, I guess when you Roman numeral third, that's what you get. Yeah, but... Okay. but Seriously, okay, for it, I'm not, this is not a bit. I want to make sure I'm not crazy. The first two are closer to each other than the third one. Yeah, I believe the so. The kerning is effed. It, yep. What the fuck is happening? Yep. <laughs> Sorry, the, the kerning is bad. Uh, continue. A legion aligned with Lord Nerva. It appears that they have received substantial financial backing from House Brutus. That's so weird, because I would assume they would just type it and the kerning is fixed, but anyway. Brutus, are they the ones who took in Yatsuyu and Alize? This bodes well. Xenos' movements, meanwhile, remain shrouded in mystery. We're hoping that Thancrete and Oriange will be able to shed some light on his activities when they return. Until such time as they do, the allied leaders feel it would be unwise to interfere with the conflict. And so, thanks to par thanks in part to the Imperial withdrawal from the Gimlet, they have decided to turn their attention to the primal problem once more. Working with friendly factions among the Beast Tribe, they hope to reopen dialogue and explore new avenues for peace. Given the timing, I suspect they wish to put their respected, uh, respective houses in order ahead of a decisive clash with the Empire. Whatever their intent, this is not a problem easily solved. The Lominsons in particular struggle in their effort, and Alphino, Yishchola, have been called upon to aid them. So long as we are dealing with the Tempered, I'm afraid no amount of dialogue will avail us. But we can develop a treatment for the tempered, and anything is possible. Which is why we must succeed. And on that cheery note, why not make yourself comfortable in the dawn's respite? I'll show Sid in as soon as he arrives. Sounded like he said sin. Just show that sin in. I know it's uh, probably not the most popular movie to reference in the world, but uh, uh, 
you made me think of Little Nicky because it's a part in that movie where a dude is possessing like a, a bishop and he goes, sin is in. Wow. And I, for some reason, think of that frequently. Oh, I thought you were just going to bring up Sin City or something. I like that movie. I like Sin City. It's, it's, it's a thing. It was a product of its time. I liked, it's, the, it's, book. I liked the graphic novel and I th the movie is really faithful. So it, yeah, I, I yeah, it. yeah. Deep blue warning. His highness is exhibiting Wait, elevated did, blood pressure. You need to warn me when you actually engage things. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I don't mean to alert you that I'm like speeding through casually the MSQ and being like, <laughs> let me just get out of ahead of Garrett here real quick. Where his parts for him. Oh, you didn't engage. I thought you were reading. Uh, okay, sorry. No, I'm, I was, I was reading the optionals. The, I heard the, Sid and I'm like, oh shit, we're starting? The orb has been very insulting to everybody here. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear. No Nero. Sid. I'm, I'm your biggest fan. Wait, we already met. <laughs> but it would be weird, right? I mean, you know, because like he did give his life in his timeline to... But they would bet a long time ago. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, it gets con confusing because future past, remember? Right, yeah. yeah. Forgive us for not coming to see you sooner, my friend. As you may have heard, we've had our hands full. Oh my. In our defense, you are up rather early. I was under the impression you'd be slumbering a while longer. Oh, I would have been had you not fulfilled your promise. Ha! I struggle with that idea. From where I stand, the secrets of traversing time and space seem exactly as unfathomable as they ever did. But if an alternate version of myself has already laid them bare, I dare say that frees me up to concentrate on other endeavors. Speaking of which, you wanted my help with something? What is it? Well, well, a treatment for tempering. And for the next step, you need to find the password to this Allegan's report. Just so. With never a clue to guide us, we could be here forever and still not guess correctly. And thus we turn to you. Sorry, I was passing something off. Oh. <laughs> well, I'd love to say that we could help you, so I will. Once suitably configured, the uh, Magitek terminal should make short work of identifying the password. I knew I could rely on you. Now, anticipating that it might be of use, I took the liberty of borrowing a tombstone from Rambros. It contains an Alakin direct uh, dictionary. Katie is passing off an ice pad. <laughs> Good thinking. I'll transfer the information to a terminal and set it to work right away. I saw that. You didn't hand him anything. No, oh, you know, it's, it's not a point three. You know, that's point three graphics. No time anymore. Mm -hmm. Apparently quite steamy in there. Yeah. Looks like it's finished. Let's see. Hmm. Freedom. The password is freedom. We hack the node. Ah, short and simple. Just as I said, would you care to do the honors, your highness? I would, milady. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Yep. Played into it. Well done. Fit right in, Gra. <laughs> With your kingdom heart shoes. Like he never slept. They are a little big and clunky. Yeah. They're more squared off, though. Kingdom Hearts shoes are, are basically clown shoes. Yeah, yeah. They're more rounded. Node, open the report entitled Iconic Corruption, an overview. Password, freedom. <laughs> Password accepted. Nope. Opening report. Oh, we're going oh, straight sick. Star Wars yep. with this shit. Would you like to Owen or should oh, I Owen? Sure. Um, let me see if I have a less aggressive robot for Owen. Like we can do something. Uh... I could do my best Obi-Wan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. 
let's see. Okay, hang a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You you basically want to sound like a digital recording of a person. Yes, I don't want to be. Here we go. That, that, okay, okay. Maybe this. There you go. Yeah, okay. That works. This report seeks to provide an overview of the mechanisms by which icons corrupt and bind men to their will. Dude, that's perfect. I love watching Kyle get it, man. I love watching Kyle nail it. Oh. The phenomenon we call corruption refers to an alteration of the ether of the soul. Said a here called uh, ether originally. Ordinarily. Ordinarily exists in an equilibrium. No one element being more prominent than other. Oh, it's a really fancy PowerPoint. But when a subject is exposed to an ether of an icon, this changes their soul, taking on the properties of the entity in question. By way of example, exposure of the ether of a fiend, of the fiend, Setheroth, would uh, cause a subject's ether to become aligned with the element of Earth. As a consequence, the subject would retain heightened affinity with the earth aspected magics, as well as a preternatural level of endurance. Repeated exposure would further enhance these traits, ultimately altering the subject's very flesh. The changes undergone by the subject are not solely attributed to the elemental alignment, however. Further testing has determined that the subject's soul becomes umberly charged, or stagnant, during the process. The stagnation of the soul has the effect of diluting the sense of self, rendering the subject vulnerable to the will of an icon. The thoughts of whom come to consume their entire essence In this manner, do the corrupted become worshippers of the icon, their prayers serving to further empower the entity? Having discerned the mechanism of iconic corruption, my colleagues and I set out to develop a material capable of shielding one from its effects, an endeavor in which we were successful, albeit at great cost. In the course of testing, many of my assistants, good men and women all, fell victim to corruption. And in accordance with the protocol, they were summarily put to death. I subsequently submitted a proposal to investigate potential cures for corruption, but it was rejected, deemed nonsensical by Lord Amon. be fruitless, I protested the decision, and for my impertinence, I've been stripped of rank and title, and will shortly be expelled from this facility. In all likelihood, this report will be expunged from the archives. Nonetheless, I recorded it in hopes that one day, someone will undertake to do that which I could not, to find a cure for the victims of iconic corruption. End recording. So not even the Allegans were able to find a cure, or rather were not given the chance to do so. One cannot help but wonder what motivated Lord Amon's decision. Has anyone good ever been named Amon? Is that, is that ever no. a no. good character name? Just no, just straight up no. no. More importantly, this confirms that stagnation of the soul is indeed the problem, and Angelo can remedy that. True. Yet, were we simply to reanimate a tempered soul, I fear it would not, uh, do not to diminish the individual's fanatical faith. Indeed, it may well intensify it. No, 
we would somehow need to suppress the Primal's hold over the subject at the same time, or risk them ever remaining its thrall. I'm gonna go with that first one. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, sure. But of course, memory transference. The process has the effect of compartmentalizing memories, separating them into manageable bundles, if you will. Thank you for telling it to me like I'm five. <laughs> By adapting the technique, it may be possible to achieve selective reanimation. That is, limit the effects to only those memories that existed prior to tempering. Through thus restoring the sense of self, we could theoretically drown out the incitements of false faith, which had come to dominate the individual's thoughts. I see. The theory seems sound, and our experience treating the light corrupted would help us to identify suitable memories for reanimation. Because it was all the light corrupted would have been stasis. But are you confident that you can adapt memory transference as required? I seem to recall your attempts to do so while tr uh, your attempts to do so while tr trying to bring us home culminated in literal bloodletting. They did. You are right. Despite my best efforts, I could not recreate the mechanism. And I concede that the rather clumsy compromise I've reached would not provide the basis for a cure. Then perhaps it is better we consider another approach. Your doubts are understandable, but this time I believe we have reason to be confident. You see, nodes such as this were built with the abilities to simulate magics, which leads me to believe that it may be capable of performing simulations of the transference technique. If so, we would be able to conduct a year's worth of testing within the space of a few days. Hmm. In theory, it would be no different from how we identified the password. But it'll take more calculating power. A lot more. I honestly couldn't say whether our equipment would be up to the task. Tell me, Sid, why do you oppose Owen... Uh, or why do you suppose Owen locked his report behind a password? To keep it from prying eyes, of course. Why else? Wait, a password that could be guessed by anyone with leisure and a dictionary wouldn't keep it from a person minded to look? No, he wanted this report to be seen by those who strive for freedom. America. Not unlike the members of a certain distinguished engineering collective. I believe their motto was freedom through technology or some such. You two. Round up as many Magitech terminals as you can find and bring them to the workshop. Right away, Chief. Things are about to get very busy. Lucky we have you to help, eh? I need Budweiser and hot dogs. It's time for freedom. <laughs> This freedom party shall last till morn. It's the only way. I'll be right back. Check out the art section in the Discord. Well, I don't have an easy way to show it, but I'll take a look right now. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't wait to show Kyle this. This is so hard because y'all can't see it and I can't show you because I'm not controlling the stream. <laughs> oh no. Oh, holy shit. What have I missed? Dude, you gotta go to the art discord right now and show the stream. Okay. <laughs> wait, the comic here? Is that what I'm yes! like? <laughs> 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 you <gotta read> it. <laughs> wow. You gotta shut that so fucking good. 
it's uh it, it really captures the moment you know i feel it like really i'm there does. it really does yeah boy hot hot damn yeah this really captures our energy yep that's it katie you gotta see this oh my god thank you for sharing zaku that is that is absolutely incredible i'm gonna uh drive that to my desktop i love that we're back <laughs> on primal lore and i love i love when monsters are made i just love monsters i love monsters so much and i really like the sort of uh get tempered twice become a monster sort of thing oh, oh okay so i'm just kind of reading back a little bit i i never knew kyle liked monsters yeah i mean this is this is new information for me what i'm curious about is uh if he said astral or umbral umbral magic or because uh, what light did he be like? Because we know now that we had the reversed on the source. So I'm curious what the scientist used. If he was down with the first knowledge or if he, but it's a little hardy. I, I can have at that later when I go through the footage. Uh, thank you, Orion J. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, you know, I was curious. I was curious if the scientist had the magics right. Uh, if he flipped the polarities or not, but because he brought up umbral, but I can investigate mm. that later. Let's keep moving. I mean, look at look uh, at the actually. I mean, just kind of look at the the characterization and their stances. That's pretty cool that they actually yeah. took the time to really make each one yeah. of these unique. Please continue. Right, when Graha, Dia, and I configure the terminals, I want the rest of you to procure supplies, namely cerulean to fuel the terminals and ice shards to keep them cool. The more we have of both, the better. Leave the ice shards to me. I'll round up some adventurers and go on a gathering spree. In that case, I'll trust Tuna, Val, and Alize with the Ceruleum. Here's promissory. Uh, here's a promissory note for each of you. Promissory note? I don't know, like a cashier's check. <laughs> to do list. Take them to the Sky Steel Manu uh, 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 Sky Steel Manufactory in Ishgard in the Ceruleum Processing Plant in Thanalan. The people there will give you what you need. Yours is a well-known face in the Holy See, I believe. If it's all the same to you, I'll head to Thanalan. Whoa, Blackberry, Thanalan, whoa. Go back there, killing Thordan. I had one too many, <laughs> one too many. I apologize. One too many syllables, one but many. I appreciate, I love the effort. I tried. Uh, whoa, Blackberry, kill Thordan. Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah, you, know, yep, you, yep. you need to find somewhere to, to scrub a scrub a syllable. Whoa, Omega Man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you stand in the sky steel manufactory. What is it that you require? Uh, oh, you're gonna hand that over here. You're taking your sweet time, almost like you need to drag it from one window to the next. So you are after Cerulean. In that case, please present the note to our engineer, <coughs> the Ash of Landing. He shall be glad to assist you. All right, I spent way too much time on that voice. It wasn't, didn't have a lot to say. <laughs> it was good. I feel like you wasted it. <clears throat> Still hand dragging over items. I mean, it's it, it's not any faster than right clicking, in my opinion. You can do the right click and then the left click. Yeah, you know, and then the thing. But... I, 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 I don't, I still say it shouldn't be a thing. If you have the item, it should just be like continue. And it does add some, I, I it, think. It is, it is one of my biggest tiny gripes. It is a tiny gripe, but <clears throat> I kind of like the inner because there's so little interactivity sometimes you know it does it, mm. it, it feels like you're participating even if it's just a little click you're like just a little something cerulean you've come to the right man for a warning though the price is shot up on account of the uncertainty with the empire so i hope you've got the coin i don't want to think about prices going up don't remind me don't remind me game don't make me think about the price of eggs garleans took all the eggs well now a promissory note from the ironworks don't see many of these. Not that it's a problem. It's as good as gold to me. Y'all, I'm not getting drawn to a debate on right clicking versus dragging. It's just not an <laughs> argument I care to have. I'm just, I'm just gonna put it out there. Just gonna put your it out your there. passion is respected though. My friend. Boom. The disappointment of not seeing you in Al Amigo. What good fortune to chance upon you here of all places. Hell yeah. Freaking love them. Amrick, there's love something em. behind you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Handsome. 
I miss having emo bangs. As you may have heard, the Allied Nations are making a renewed effort to address the primal problem. To that end have I invited the Chieftain of the Vanu to Ishgard, that we might together plot a course. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, I wanna hear what you sound like. Since the war with the Empire appears to be right. nearing its conclusion, I would also like to call upon Estinian's Lance. Alas, he is, as ever, a difficult man to find. I am informed he recently paid a visit to the Rising Stones. Should he happen to do so again, be sure to pass on my regards, won't you? But tell me, what business brings you to our fair city this day? To have another dinner with you. Yeah, 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 laying it out. A cure for tempering. Ah, oh, You never cease to amaze me. Until now, our only hope has been prevention, our every failure irrevocable. But this, this would rewrite the rules of engagement. It could end the cycle of bloodshed. Very well. You shall have all the ceruleum we can provide, and an airship with which to transport it. <laughs> that looks stoned. In this matter, you may count on Ishgard's full support. Good to see him again. Yeah. Every time I see Amarik, I have a great desire to wear eye makeup. I mean, you could. I used to. Yeah, me too. Just making the rounds. Oh, we're still, we're still cut semen. I think you should leave so that I can make a reference that you would understand right now. Oh, who would have thought Cerulean weighed so much? Serves me right for being stubborn, I suppose. I should have just done what you did and accepted help. You should wear more sensible boots. Platforms aren't doing they, any favors. Good work, you two. They look like ice skates. This is all we ask for and more. Quite a lot more now that I look at it. Sid doesn't sound anything like I remember. No. That's weird. Lord Emmerich, eh? And entirely by chance. <laughs> Some people have all the luck. We have also succeeded in configuring what the tunnel. Thanks in no small part to our able assistant. Hey! Oh, hit the shit. air horn for me, Gary! I don't Sons have an air horn, hit it for me! It's been a while, hero. You seem surprised to see me. Lest you misunderstand, I've no interest in such things as cures for tempering. Of course you don't. You're but beautiful if you mean to achieve that, you have any interest in sunglasses that are cool looking. Elegance, it seemed plain that you would require my expertise. <laughs> and so it proved. Is that not right, Garland? For all the effort it took to track you down after your latest disappearing act, you could find the cure for death, and it wouldn't be worth the trouble.
Sid sounds truly <laughs> villainous. That wasn't the only reason I agreed to cooperate. I'm reliably informed that Garland and I are destined to unravel the secrets of travel not only across dimensions, but through time. Doubtless the lion's share of the credit lies with me. Nine parts to Garland's one. And this research will be a stepping stone to that illustrious achievement. Uh, very well then. I'll do a tenth of the work. Just the part that's beyond you. <laughs> Whatever you say, Garland. By the way, the healing applications of Crystal Foci proved very useful in getting us to where we are now. I must remember to thank Mikoto. Right. If everyone's ready, let's begin. When your parents are planning. <laughs> I see you, cake cat. Ah, all appears to be in order. Now, we just have to wait for it to find us our magic. Why not take this opportunity to put your feet up? This may take a while. Using AI. I want to redo like every scene like that with 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 a uh, Sid and Near Arrow and a bunch of screens with uh, like the Iron like songs from Iron Man and scenes from Iron Man. Mm. It's real mm. Tony Stark energy. Sure. Jarvis, finally a man who speaks English. Damn it! It's overloading. <laughs> Ricardo. Chief, she won't last much longer. Cars in my MMO. Uh, we'll have to shut it down. Wedge, your Star Wars reference, not a Star Trek. Wait, we're close. So very close. Oh. Well, this is going <laughs> swimming. <laughs> Fitchell says, "Get the box fan, Kyle." Not yep, yep. Please, box fan. A moment longer, I beg you. There. Good, good crowd tonight. I love your energy. Oh, that doesn't look good. No. <sighs> we overheated the CPU. Yeah. Tried to play Crisis. <laughs> Such an old reference now. <laughs> I was able to memorize the magic before it faded. It still needs to be put to the proof, but I believe we have our cure. <laughs> Sid looks, or uh, Nero looks so pissed. He was like sneering. It's just as well. She'll never run again. The fault is mine. I'm sorry. Don't be. It may fall short of dimension hopping, but a cure for tempering is not to be sniffed at. This, my friend, is a world-changing discovery. One we're proud to have had a hand in. <clears throat> a few Magitek terminals are a pittance to pay. Thank you. <laughs> well, we've done what we can. The rest is up to you. God, he sounds like me doing a bad Roy Kent impression. I'm, it's really just, I'm, I'm like super focusing on the words that are written. It's really distracting. <laughs> So, but when was the last time we heard Sid talk? Because Omega wasn't voiced, it has so... It's been a while, It's been dude. a long is, time. Is, I have no memory of what Sid even sounded like, but I know it wasn't that. I mean, I remember, you're, uh, don't die down there. 
You're too bloody important. But that wasn't it. Yeah, it was probably that, Heaven's that Born. That was Realm Reborn. Yeah, that was the Realm Reborn Sid, and that was super rough. Yeah. Yeah, Realm Reborn Sid was, was no, you know, no shade. You know, everyone's everyone's doing their best, and maybe direction no, wasn't, the, sure. wasn't the greatest, but... Sure, and if, uh, if you know, like, uh, Amrick sounded really over-processed, like he, you know, probably recorded at home with the equipment he had available to him. But... That uh, is kind of... it. I don't know. I like I like Zap. <laughs> I do like Zap. Now I want the I don't know the actor's name who plays Roy Kent, but now I just want ac the actual actor that plays Roy Kent to be the voice of Sid. Watch Ted Lasso so you know my references. Scott. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I see. Yeah, Angry but retired I'm, soccer hooligan. Well, no, and that and that's the exact thing that happened with uh, you know Rubber Born too. Is it was all direction. Uh, those were all very talented voice actors. So yeah. Just go get Billy West. You're damn right. You're damn right. Just go, just go get Billy West. No, right. no problem. 